Patrick said it looks like Cai Tao Kui, oh my god. So we are supposed to press this thing. Oh my, it really looks like Cai Tao Kui, eh. actually, you can't think of it. Taking a much needed break away from parenthood, this will be our first trip travelling without the kids. We were on Scoot's inaugural flight to Jeju and they are celebrating their 10th year anniversary with lots of activities on this flight. We were so close to winning a ticket but unfortunately we did not. As this is the first international flight to Jeju, we were greeted with lots of warm by the Koreans. It's also our first time in Jeju despite visiting South Korea many times. We can't wait to explore the city. Hello guys, we are now at the rental car place. And uh, we go we went with Lotte. I, I, le I left the I kinda left the, the booking of the car all to him to do all the research. Good job. Wow, well, now waiting to collect the car. Annyeonghaseyo! So we've gotten our car. It's on this side. But it didn't take us too long to get used to it. And we are now heading to eat something. So one thing to take note if you are coming to Korea, you need to take PCR tests like within three days of your stay here. So I didn't know that. I only know that after we landed because apparently he didn't tell me. So we don't have to take immediately. Not like when you land in Seoul. I think when you are land, you when you land in Seoul. Uh, because the PCR testing center is just there, it's convenient. It's just at the airport, so it's convenient. But in Jeju, we, they don't have that yet. So we have to take it at uh, like a public hospital. And we have three days to do that. I feel that. <laughs> so yeah, so we are going to like, you know, YOLO and play for two days first. So, if Gerda, at least we play for two days, right? <laughs> So, we are currently at this, um, I don't even know the, the shop name. This shop that sells uh, abalone, like they have abalone rice and abalone porridge, and they also have like uh, seafood ramen. So we were supposed to come here for Norman, this um, very famous by the sea seafood ramen, but uh, it didn't, it didn't, it, it, it's closed, and I'm not sure why because it didn't say that today is closed or what. So maybe they got sold out. I don't know, but now we ended up here. So we ordered seafood ramen, uh, grilled abalone, something very new, something I want to try for the longest time. And we also ordered this um, pitimbap, like a stone stone pot rice with abalone and nuts. So I can't wait to try. And then even the panchan rice is damn good. This is like raw octopus with like their special kojujang, I guess. Oh, I like how they have this chow ta chow ta around it. Oh, it's actually very nice eh. And the butter taste and a bit of garlic taste. Resist the goods here, yeah. They are so cute. The branding is so well done. Mm. Does it taste like coffee? Does it taste like coffee? <laughs> 
咁咩？<笑>我们已经用完了。They, the the their job is to pick abalone. They also pick this seaweed to make this uh, pudding, which is uh, which I'm gonna try now. So uh, we bought the milk one, the green tea one, and the chocolate. So they say I have to eat in this particular sequence. So I'm gonna try the custard. Yeah, so this is the pudding I'm gonna try. I really love pudding, by the way. So this is about I think eight dollars, and I have to try it. Mm. Oh, it has a very interesting aftertaste. This guy, if you give Patrick here, he will think that it's just another pudding. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lim House. <laughs> we are in Jeju today. We just entered like a, the first Airbnb we are staying in Jeju, and it's super pretty. It's more than what I've imagined it to be. Here at this black pot place that we are going to try, it's very near to our Airbnb. We actually don't want to travel too far out. We wanted to check out uh, night markets here, but they are both very far. There's one down and there's one near the Jeju City, which is like take 15 minutes. So we decided to pop by this place after googling, and apparently, like you check out the there are like many signature of like celebrities. So this is like the second shop today that we. Chance upon and it's actually quite authentic, and we can't wait to try. This is the first time we are trying black pork, so yeah, let's try it. So we were told to mix all the veggie together and eat. I only like the pork. All the veggie I don't like, but I'll go to try. It's breakfast time at our Airbnb, and we are just so surprised by the um, food that she prepared for us. So previously, ah, uh, in back in Singapore, I watched this show like this homestay show at Jeju where Lee Hyori Lee Hyori runs her guest house, and she will prepare like food for the guests. And I kind of like the idea of it. I feel that it's like very healing and very homely. And you know, today is a First time I experienced this, like um, the Airbnb will prepare breakfast for you, and I feel that it's so nice. And feel so taken care of in a foreign country. But the breakfast bread is also very beautiful. Yeah, 
so you can check out this Airbnb but please don't come here and spoil their things <laughs> So if you are considering Jeju, like a couple retreat or taking your kids here, I think it, um, this is a good place you can consider. It's very healing, take things slower and uh, also trying to balance your life again. Good morning! It's day two of our trip and we are starting the drive after having a very healing and beautiful breakfast at our Airbnb's place and uh, yeah, today's itinerary we are going to a few scenic places our first stop is the healing forest um, yeah, Patrick really looking forward to seeing the, um, to going to this healing forest because he's a fan of all those very zen places <laughs> so after that we are also going to the Camellia Garden Yep, and today's itinerary um, is pretty chill and we're just going to also find some nice cafe. So follow us! Camellia Hill today and it's so pretty. Look at the flowers! Just balls and balls of hydrangeas. Free house, so this is a brand that um, uh, I would say I've been using for quite some time. Like be even before they entered Singapore, I've been using their products because uh, I bought them in Korea. So we are making the handcrafted soap at the Innisfree uh, store, and it's actually pretty hard to make. It's quite hard. Am I doing it right? Oh yeah, I actually can eh. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick said it looks like Sai Tao Kui, oh my god. So we are supposed to press this thing. Oh my, it really looks like Sai Tao Kui eh. Actually, you can't think of it. Ended our day at Shin Chang Wen Mao Coastal Road, a short drive from our Airbnb. We were greeted with majestic wind miles along the road as we watched the sun slowly set behind. <laughs> <laughs> 